Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder and we're back with another episode of my Vineland Let's Play series. We're here to check in with you with after a few days of letting things come to harvest or come to um, uh, growing. Uh, we are not ready to harvest yet, we have quite a few ways to go, but wanted to show you where we're at in the stage of uh, getting to where we need to be. We went and bought a new planter, one that will make planting a lot faster. We kept a fertilizer spreader. We sold our lime spreader because although we have a field or two that could use some lime let me just get over to them uh at some point uh they probably will we don't need them at this moment so i got rid of the lime spreader and we won't need it for a little while and then by the time we do need a lime spreader hopefully we can afford a better one um fields technically don't need rolling either um but something that i want to get to as well as i sold my old little roller um i want to get a new roller um and obviously we have been collecting our um, strawberries here. Is that what this is? No, sorry. Tomatoes, because it's New Jersey and they like tomatoes. And we are collecting as many tomatoes as we can from uh, day to day. And we'll probably get a load of tomatoes every other day or so. Um, so this is two days worth. Probably need one more day's worth to get a load um, fully full. We only have one pallet left and how close are we? We're not anywhere close, so you know what? We might just go and sell this pallet um, load real quick. Um, only because we really don't need to... Um, we need to get some cash, um, obviously, for when we go into the harvesting season so that we can use uh, some hire some workers and, and things of that nature. But uh, we definitely want to get better equipment. We would like to... Um, I don't need to upgrade, actually we're going to drop this and we're going to get a faster tractor to do this pulling for us so we don't have to do it with this tractor that's really slow. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what we're trying to do right now. Um, we're going to do a couple more uh, days simulated here um, because we do not need to uh, rush this process. We have a few thousand dollars to get us through harvest the field once we're at that stage um, and then we're gonna work on getting um, uh, you know we have the ability to do the productions here but one of the main goals I would like to reach is I'd like to earn enough to purchase the production um, area so that we can go right to um, making the actual sunflower oil and then selling that for more but we're not at that stage um, I have a several options for us in the future for that but we're gonna keep on grinding away getting our tomatoes made up or sold and um, and made and sold as well as also getting our sunflowers harvested in uh, in this episode and we will check to see where we finish off with our money by the end of selling all this and see what we can get for the next um, season what, what can we purchase that'll help because we have we have some good stuff, but we definitely don't have everything. So we'll check in with you guys when we are finishing up harvesting um, and show you the total amount of sunflower uh, oil that we got, sunflower um, seeds that we got, and then we'll go sell it and see what we can get for it. We'll check in the end. Take it easy.
Hello everyone. Alright, looks like we're back from doing some harvesting and as well as also um, uh, prepping our fields. Um, while we are doing the prepping of the fields, I learned that this does need to be limed. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. Um, remember, we mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have since sold my lime spreader that I had before. Um, mostly because it was um, just a really ineffective way of liming everything. But now we can lime things in a much faster way. It's not as cost effective. Um, so we will have to uh, pay attention to our lime use here and refill. Which I don't have any lime with me on this. So we may buy a multi fruit buying station um, so that we can uh, restock on lime. And fertilizers uh, before I was just going back and forth on and off camera filling up and as it looks like we are going to use roughly this entire amount um, and we're not even going to be using the whole field so yeah so we'll have to do that so let's do that let's look into that real quick we just ran out let's check uh, here construction silos Under silos, or is it under containers? Multi fruit buying station. Yeah, okay. So we usually use something like this on a regular basis. Um, we'll put this one. Let me turn the camera. We'll put this here. Just like that, because we will end up using that for filling up our, all of our lime. The only thing it doesn't do is gasoline, if I remember correctly. So we have that over there which we buy and have that delivered on a regular basis. More lime. Okay, right past it, so we'll have to do that. So, but I'd rather fill up on lime multiple times here than have to run back and forth, because lime is one of those things that just doesn't fill up very easily. Also, so since we bought the lime spreader that we bought, we also had to buy a front weight um, and upgrade our tractor here to have a attacher in the front for the front weight. Um, because our tires are barely touching the ground and they, they still kind of are, but it's enough connection here that I, I don't have an issue with um, with this uh, for the most part. And as it lightens the load as we use it, um, I don't have any issues. So do that, make the turn, start the spreader and do it. So yeah, and, and this can happen so quickly that I can I can do this without hiring a worker which is nice and convenient. Plus it's rainy right now, which means we can't do any planting. So I just want to bring you guys in while I was doing this. Um, whoops, looks like we'll have to go back and do a couple spots that we missed. But I wanted to bring you back with doing this and we'll meet you guys at the beginning of the next episode when we are planting. As you see here, we also sold quite a bit of my, um, we sold a lot of the, uh, actually we sold all of it, of the sunflower seeds. Uh, and that's what we use the profits to buy this new spreader. Um, I need to buy a new line, uh, a new roller, um, because we will need to roll the field after we plant them. I just like the look of a rolled field. Uh, I don't know how important it is going to be to our um, our needs for getting maximum yield, but I like to roll the fields. It may be an extra step, but I just like that look of a rolled field. Um, maybe for only 2% more extra yield. That's not a huge deal. Eh, whatever, that's fine too. Ran out of lime again, so let's go ahead and put this down. Now this also could double as a fertilizer spreader, which means you could probably get rid of the other fertilizer spreader. Um, but that fertilizer spreader still does us a solid. Actually, you're right, we don't, we don't need this. I'm talking to myself, and I'm like talking myself out of keeping the other spreader. I really don't need it. Um, it, it does the job. The other tractor, though, can handle it, you know, and that might be one of the reasons why we keep it. The fact that the other tractor can handle it um, might be the reason why we keep it, actually. Because it is light, it is small, the other tractor can use it while this field does field prep and handles the heavier things. So that's probably what we'll do. Um, anything on sale? Oh, we can get this on sale today if we wanted to, and it will work on our current 
um, header, I believe. I believe it will. Let's take a look. Not that we need it right this minute, but if we had this, we have this harvester, right? Yeah, it's a huge sale. Which means that gives us the ability to harvest other things other than other than corn or mm, very tempting, very very tempting. I might. Oh, sorry about any feedback there from my phone there. Um, I might just pick it up. We might bite the bullet and do it just because it is a good sale. We don't need it right this minute, and we aren't planting anything that is going to be of that quality, but for that kind of price, I think we should. So we will buy that. Um, and uh, what else can we get? We need a cedar then, if that's the case. Oh, wow, oh, we got this cedar here. That's a cheap cedar. Now we can do other things this season. Mmm, tempting, very tempting. This allows us to do other stuff and get other profit. And our, our cedar can do it. We might, we might just have to. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do it. Man, we are spending our money, but it is worth it. It is totally worth it. And if that's the case, let us, um... Oh, we have a pallet of that to go very soon. We're gonna be fine. We spend quite a bit of money, but honestly, we could really use this, and I think we could even seed now our seeding season for things is open we could seed some wheat or barley oh which means that I could possibly get straw off the field and help with that a little bit of extra money I don't have a way to pick up straw can I pick up straw this season can I pick up straw this season cheaply is the question I won't be able to do that one which I would like to preferably do that but what about a baler for 12 grand I could just barely afford that. It's not worth the straw right now. Until until we can get the automatic fast bail where we can bail and wrap silage, I don't see the purpose in starting straw because the money you get from straw never earns you back the spending that you would spend on the actual baler. Like it just won't. You'll spend 12 grand right there on the baler. I'll make straw bales. The straw bales will sell for. 300 bucks and I'll maybe get 10 bales so I'll, I will get the money back eventually but I don't know that it's worth it unless I can also wrap it and actually that baler is not even a square baler it's a square baler not a round baler so the first round baler I can afford is actually 30,000 or 25,000 actually so yeah, we're we're not there yet, and I don't want to do the mini balers, mini bales because I don't I don't care to rip. So yeah, no, we need a multi-purpose thing. We need thirty thousand dollars. It's not gonna be this season, but it'll be nice to maybe do this um, big field. Maybe we'll do the big field. Hmm, maybe we'll do the big field with a new crop. We'll do the big field now with. Um, See, you know what? I don't see the purpose right now. I really don't know. I wanted I wanted to do other options, and I want to look at what sells. And right now, what sells well? Wheat sells for 609. Sunflower seeds sell for more, but I only get about three and a half. I, I get like 30 grand out of it. Barley sells for not nearly as much. Oats would be better, but I can't get to oats. I could do canola. Canola's not seeding season, is not right now. I think we were just looking at that, and the seeding season for canola is not now. No, I missed it. So we'll, we'll just get down some wheat. And we're not going to be able to afford a way to pick it up. I don't think there's a faster way for us to pick it up right now. Not even if we got... Not even if we got... We need the money for the roller. Oh, look where we parked our vehicle. Right through the front door of the place that we're buying from. 
All right, so we don't need the header right now, but we can at least get this um, cedar. Get that hooked up. Oh, dropping too many things here. Cool. All right, so let's go get that field uh, planted with this machine. I'm not going to make you guys watch it. Um, if you guys have seen, you know, planting before, you know, we already had one montage this video. We don't need to do another one. So we'll check back in with you guys when the fields are all planted. So including this one and the canola, um, sunflower seeds uh, fields, we'll do those as well. We, we won't expect much um, of those two fields, but it'll be kind of cool to see how those two fields yield for us and profit. If I can get like a, a whole trailer load out of those two fields with sunflowers, which I believe it is just about a whole trailer load, maybe a little bit under, you know, that's maybe how we go for sunflowers. Um, or, you know, we might turn them into grass if we can get the, um, if we, uh, yeah, grass might be the long-term solution for them, but um, for right now they'll stay sunflowers because we want to get something down now we'll get down uh, this field and I'll buy a roller which are there any rollers that we need that we can buy rollers, rollers, rollers. great technology rollers I don't like those rollers those rollers are too small so I can't afford a roller but we can lease a roller but is it worth to release a roller is it worth to lease it for 2,000 bucks I don't think we're gonna get 2,000 bucks worth of profit out of it so we, we may skip the rolling for now because we can't afford a good roller and the good rollers are well, good rollers are 40,000 bucks and we can run it with our current tractor I believe yeah we can so we'll, we'll get a we'll get another roller when we have the money Roller is not going to make a difference enough for our, our seeding and our, our, our yield to, to be worthwhile buying a roller right now. Even at the small ones, I don't have the time to waste. <laughs> be here all day. So we'll check in with you guys in the next episode when everything has grown and we're harvesting the new um, the new field. Because right now, this is what we're going to do. We'll get these opened up and we'll... Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do something different. And for on the cheap, too. We don't have to make up an eight thousand dollar, fourteen thousand dollar investment. And we got oh, we got I forgot to tell you, got a new plant or two, so we'll be able to plant these fields significantly faster. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. And thanks again for watching. This is your boy Chuck Thunder signing out. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.